there are waves to the coaching carousel. Just when the waters calm for a moment, another arrives to throw college football off balance. After a truly wild Friday, and some official announcements during the weekend and into Monday, the end to the first wave of the 2017-18 cycle is here. Only three Power 5 jobs remain unfilled, Oregon, Tennessee, and Arkansas, although all three programs could cause some ripples with their hires. Tennessee essentially reset its search, as former coach Philip Fulmer is now calling the shots. As another wave approaches, Harry's the latest we're hearing around the coaching carousel. What will Oregon with Willie Taggart going to Florida State? Oregon certainly didn't expect to be in this position for the second consecutive year. With Taggart departing, the school could look internally, and I am told co-offensive coordinator Mario Cristobal, the former Florida international coach, would have the best chance to be promoted, not defensive coordinator Jim Levitt. Former Texas A&M head coach Kevin Sumlin certainly seems like a good option, as he could continue Oregon's recruiting success in Texas and on the West Coast. I would expect Oregon to look at Calories Justin Wilcox, a former Ducks defensive back who is from Eugene. But Wilcox is just getting started in Berkeley and might hesitate to leave after just one season, especially to another Pac-12 North school. Boise State coach Brian Harson who is 41-12 with the Broncos, is another good option. Fresno State coach Jeff Tedford also could enter the radar after engineering an incredible turnaround this season with the Bulldogs. Tedford served as Oregon's offensive coordinator from 1998 to 2001, revived Calories program as head coach and remains popular with Nike chair Phil Knight. He also could do wonders with Ducks quarterback Justin Herbert. What are Philip Fulmer's next steps with Tennessee's search? Fulmer, who took over as athletic director Friday and reset the search, is in New York on Tuesday for Peyton Manning's induction into college football's Hall of Fame. He has been in touch with several candidates, including some who had discussions with former athletic director John Curry before he was removed late last week. SMU coach Chad Morris is among those who talked with Curry but remains on Tennessee's radar with Fulmer calling the shots. Two new names that emerged Monday are Georgia defensive coordinator Mel Tucker and former Arkansas coach Brett Bielema. Tucker has been in the mix for several college and NFL head coaching positions in recent years and did an excellent job upgrading Georgia's defense during its playoff run. Arkansas fired Bielema primarily because of his struggles in SEC play, 11-29, but Bielema brings 12 years of Power 5 head coaching experience, a 97-58 career record and the personality that could resonate well on Rocky Top. Auburn defensive coordinator Kevin Steele is still an option for Tennessee, which needs to wrap up its process soon. With Gus Malzahn off the table, where does Arkansas look next? Much like Texas A&M with Jimbo Fisher, Arkansas had its big money boosters prepared to make a major offer to a top-tier coach.